Hello fellows, welcome back to my playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Just about to finish up my old quest that Pa gave me early this morning. I've uh, been through quite a bit with a little brawling, a little gambling, a little sword fight practice. Talking with my old girl. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sasal did for us. <laughs> oh, this part's pretty cool. Look at that, lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Dan Divino. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. Some fine engraving for something back then, fellas. Some of what they By the way, do, we don't know. I've heard some gossip about what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something about it. Maybe. Maybe? Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime-washed house, maybe? And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Oh, got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody. Least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. What, so you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of the king? Does that boy ever listen to a word I say? So Deutsch spouts with you, so what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Oh. <laughs> the furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Hope your hand don't <sighs> slip, buddy. Good. Jeebs. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. 
What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. Oh, it's like this part in the game. He is pretty neat. It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. <laughs> it's a good thing I grabbed those things earlier, huh, fellers? I don't have to walk there. <laughs> God of love, have you gone deaf? Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? Sorry, we will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Look at her go, fellers. <laughs> Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. So my dad shows off his sword skill of ten or something. <laughs> <laughs> We did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? Let him try it. Like a baseball bat. <laughs> you still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but... Duty calls, and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Ispan. Have a safe journey to Sasa. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. 
You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them or beat them? Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Oh no, fellas. That can't be a good sign. <laughs> to the house and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry! And what about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No! You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, we'll take care of you. He owes me. stuff. Yeah, that's way too much of an overwhelming force. Quickly! We have to close the gates! Move! Come on, we're closing! Move in, people! Come on! Come on! Time. Oh, Henry! Thank God! Get inside quick! We have to shut the Get gates! Get running, people! Come on! Mind this for me. Are you mad? You can't go back! Get through the gates! This part's brutal, fellas. Faces burn into Henry's memory now. Hurry, Henry! There's nothing you can do! Come on, Hal! You can still make it! Run! Gotta 
hurry. Yeah, I just started off running because you get killed real quick if you don't hurry. <laughs> Of course, Henry's putt's ass just gets tired after two minutes of running. <laughs> Hopefully they let me walk swiftly away. <laughs> you pigs! Don't touch me or I'll kill you! Oh, man. Go to hell, you touch I gotta try me. to do something, fellas. Can't just leave her. Steal this guy's horse and maybe try to run up on him. Sword out and try to tag one of these fellers. There, I think I did it. I think I got him distracted long enough she yeah. can run. Now I got a whole fucking slew of jerks after me though. Yeah. <laughs> from these barbarians. And also try not to get lost. Apparently you can't go over bushes. <laughs> Balas like that false. Hamburg is to the left along the stream. Yeah, they got to go this way. Warn the others. They've torn Scallet. Keep us up, well, lad. Flee to Talmberg. I don't even know if these people are um, running past and warning or even making it because there's just a, like a little troop of fucking savages behind me, fellas. Oh, well, fellas, that's my video. I hope you liked it and you commented down below if you had any suggestions, alright? 
hope you're subscribed to my channel because it really helps me out with defeating the algorithm gods. But you guys have a good game next time, alright? And keep your shield on strong, alright?